I'm finally moving the fuck out of here. <laughs> No tea, no shade, but a lot of tea and a lot of shade. Didn't end on the greatest terms with the people that lived here, but that's fine. That's how life goes. I am packing up of uh, the rest of the bathroom and like just random things that I have laying around. And my friends are gonna come and help me out. Thank you to Montanique, Sam, Orly, Syra. So right now we're just loading the stuff into the truck. Today I'm gonna sleep over at my friend Syra's house and then go to work tomorrow for like a few hours, come back, get the truck and move it. So that's the plan. And I'm sorry if I look stupid. I just, I just woke up from my nap and I'm so tired. But yeah, let's get this move started. Okay, excuse my face and my shirt. <laughs> of course, with all of the moving and expenses and everything like that, I have been selling my clothes on Poshmark and I wanted to tell you guys about it because this comes in really handy, especially if you're trying to get rid of stuff. Poshmark is an app where you can sell, create your own closet, and you can buy from different brands or you can buy from different people. So we got Nike, Adidas, Topshop, literally you can name it Fashion Nova. You can name it, it's there. They have handbags, they have clothes, obviously jewelry, at a very discounted price. So I always recommend using that, not just for selling, but also for buying. If you use my link in my description, you can get $10 off of your first purchase. My username is Javier that just like my Instagram and my Twitter so underscore Javierita yeah ten dollars off that's pretty freaking awesome because everything's already discounted so you're getting a pretty bomb deal just by signing up with my link so make sure you check that out in my description so I'm selling these high-waisted jeans these are a little bit big on me so that's why I'm selling them I do have them in a smaller size now I'm also selling this beautiful lavender dress okay so i just wore this for a picture i just i have nowhere to wear this next i'm selling this yellow top i think this is this would be really good for an like office wear it's really cute you can cross it i can't you see what i'm doing right and the last thing i'm actually selling this dress now this dress is beautiful it's just a little bit too showy for me so it has all this back you know it's a mini dress and you guys don't have, you know, a booty. So a mini dress kind of doesn't, it's flattering, but it's not my cup of tea. But I love the pattern and the colors in this is beautiful. It has this plunging neckline. Make sure you go check it out. And I hope you guys sign up because honestly, it's been making a lot of good money lately. And if you're moving out, if you're doing like a big move like me, it really has helped me pay for a lot of things that I've needed. So I highly, highly recommend you download Poshmark. So, go download it. Hello, kiddos. It is August 1st, which means I get to move in finally to my very first place. I wanted to vlog the process of moving out, but that's hectic as fuck. So I didn't do it. I'm so tired and I have a sore throat. All the shit in here is gonna go. It's honestly just clothes. I'm wearing the same clothes from yesterday. I feel disgusting, but I showered though. Okay. Welcome to my apartment. <laughs> here is my humble abode. Yes. Mm -hmm. And here is my kitchen. Little nice. my kitchen mm -hmm. and I a have stove. A stove. <laughs> I can cook. Can you? It's brand new. <laughs> We have cabinets. What's a rat just come out? <laughs> Don't forget your gift. Yeah, I'm here. but they gave me cutting boards because I cut things. <laughs> it's my bathroom. It's my favorite place ever because look at that. Stuff. I can take shits and look. Up. Look at that. Look where you oh, take a shit. Just a studio, mm -hmm. so it ain't gonna be crazy big. <laughs> <laughs> so we moved everything in the thing in the apartment <laughs> we're getting food now i'm mm -hmm. so hungry i've been up since like 5 30 today yeah and we were up talking shit <laughs> i know we were oh we talked a lot of shit mm -hmm. we talked a lot of dookie a lot <laughs> a lot of dookie a lot of dumb a lot of dumb <laughs> so yes i am wearing the same clothes from yesterday don't judge me if you are fuck you. exit <laughs> where's the where's the x right here right here you know my mom gave me a 50 dollar gift card from walmart yeah, that i'm gonna use oh and i have to call bg oh my god so many oh yeah i do that too this is coming from hasira's um advice she was like just buy things that you normally wouldn't this does it's a mm -hmm. gift you know yeah you know so i'm buying this marble because duh you guys saw the marble it's a little 
thing and I'm gonna put my skincare. That's mm -hmm. cute and aesthetic on mm -hmm. it. We're just look at ourselves in the mirror now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, she go low. <laughs> they go low, we, we go high. high. <laughs> oh, look at a moose. Look at the cow. Oh, I said a cow. <laughs> I said a you moose. Said moose. <laughs> Use that air. True, yeah. Go with the theme. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna post a picture of what I want it here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bam, bam. Bam, oh, okay, know. what about your rug? What did you say you were gonna do about a rug? I mean, I want to get a different rug. <laughs> a different one? Like, but like later, some other time. Yeah. Another when you can splurge. Time. And maybe I'll just, oh, I could have it under the Papa San chair. True. I'm can. getting a Papa San chair. Mm -hmm, Papa. Put gotta right say here. like that. Yeah, so. <laughs> pow. Pow, pow. I feel like Boom, snip pow, pow. for new girl. Boom, chicka, wow. Parkour. Yeah. That burger is getting to me. Dude, same. <laughs> Cut that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the view. So I don't recommend going all the way up there. It's a little scary. Bitch, I ain't scared. All right. You'll be seeing a lot of rooftop pictures. Cause duh, and I could literally set up my phone like right here. I am so happy right now. As you should. A bitch is I happy. Bitch. I'm officially all moved in. It is like 10:30 right now. I'm having my dinner finally. Look at look at all this mess. Obviously, I have my bed right here. I took a shower. I like relaxed, but I literally have not had any food since like around 1 30 today so i'm like i'm spent so i got some chinese food because obviously i just feel like in any american movie they always order chinese food after they move out or like when they're broke and stuff so honestly i don't even know why because that shit's expensive hi kiddos oh my god i definitely got sick like I'm not like congested, but I'm congested. <laughs> like, I'm gonna go run some errands to like buy all my essentials, groceries, cause I had to post pay last night. That's still in the fridge, but I don't have any water. You should not be drinking tap water in Baltimore. But um, I did anyway, and it tasted like dirt. Cause I needed it, like I didn't have any water. I left my bottled water in my car yesterday and it has a filter so like i could drink tap water out of that but i really want to buy like those brita filter thingies or maybe like i'm just trying not to use a lot of plastic you know and i really want to buy wooden plates like i really want to start being very mindful of my environment which i always have been but you know now that i'm in my own space i can fully fully transform myself new plays new me Real quickly, I went to go get my oil change and all that stuff. I don't know how the fuck I finessed this. I think I just have real good karma right now. Knock on wood, never ends, please. I don't wear, I don't have any wood. Oil change for me is usually like, what, $40, like $35, $40, whatever. You know, I have an old car. Like, but I knew that I had to get so many other things done. Like they had told me something about my transmission and like so many just like random things that I just, I know nothing about cars, okay? See, so yeah, I'm gonna just have to do it because my car, I use it for literally everything, my pet sitting, and clearly now in the city, the guy comes up to me, he's like, hey, how are you? And I was like, already tired, and I was like, fuck, I'm already, I already know he's gonna tell me something's wrong with it. And he was like, where's your smile? I know you got a nice smile. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> really respectful and nice. He was telling me about all the issues and like, like how things work and stuff. He's like, I love explaining these things. So eventually he was like, well, one thing that was gonna cost me $99. And I was like, I looked at him literally like my mouth gaping open and he was like, but don't worry, I'm gonna leave it for $49.99. And I was like, thank you so much. But I was already counting on spending like at least $150 on the rest of the stuff. You know what I mean? There were six things on that list. He was like, well, I'm gonna get, also give you a 10% discount. And I was like, oh. MG. So everything came down to $84. $84 and my car is like brand new now. Like it doesn't need anything, any work done. Like this shit is on fire right now. But anyway, I want to share that. So then because of that, I felt like that was really good karma. So today, the way that my mom explained karma to me was a good deed is done to you. So you do one back and then there's just like good energy in the universe. So that and there was a homeless man right next to me and I was like, well, I just went grocery shopping and it's hot as fuck outside. I gave him my 
water and two bananas and one dollar because I didn't have any more <laughs> but he was so grateful and I felt really really good about that and I was just like you know good things are happening to me so one good things to happen to other people so I means I can now do my Q&A. Steph.cha asks, how long did it take to find a place and get approved? What did you tell them? Long story short, my previous roommates, one of them was leaving. She kind of left us hanging a little bit. Um, I was going away on vacation and I literally only had about 10 days to find a place. I found a place literally next door. They, I was supposed to be a roommate. I was looking for a month to month type lease because I didn't want to be attached to a lease if I didn't love the place. I would only want to lease if I was living by myself. I told the guy that I wanted to apply, like, let's do this, let's make this happen. He got me all excited. He was like, yeah, let's do it, just apply. Basically, you apply, you go to the like the leasing office. There's a website for it. You do your application. If you need a co-signer, which I did, because I'm a pet sitter and I have, I obviously have my own income from social media and stuff, so it's kind of hard to gauge. It's just, it's, it's hard doing it. So it's just easier to have a co-signer so that that could kind of help you, you know, get approved. So you get approved after getting approved, they send you your lease, you sign your lease. So the deposit, it's all about, they gauge it off of your credit score, I'm pretty sure. Just like your history as a renter. Mine was just a month's rent and that's usually what it is to be honest. Um, so it was just a uh, first month's rent and a deposit. So it all equal to about $1,600. Obviously it will depend from leasing office to leasing office because at mine took a little bit longer. That's, it's usually supposed to take about 48 hours and they'll tell you right away. Mine was taking longer because my mom's application for the co-signer, something happened to it and I don't know, it was just a mess. So mine took like a week, about two weeks to find a place because I had to because I was leaving. So I didn't want to come back from vacation and not have a place, obviously. So yeah, it took me two weeks. It can take you a few months, honestly. It just depends on when you move in. So definitely gauge your time correctly. Otherwise, you're gonna be freaking out just like I was. Even though it wasn't my fault, but whatever. M Monica dot M -M -M asks me, how is budgeting your money with bills, traveling, and buying what you want? Love you. Thank you so much. I love you too. I've always been really good at saving money, but when I first moved out. Um, I got scammed. If you haven't seen that video, I link it. <laughs> but I got scammed. It was really hard to save up. Um, it's it's already hard saving up as it is when you already have expenses. So definitely take advantage of free things. Take advantage of staying with your parents for as long as you can. To be honest, I moved out because my mom was moving to California. And to be quite honest with you, I don't fuck with the West Coast. <laughs> I'm gonna say it right now, unless it's Arizona. The good thing is that I do have a really good job you know, the social media influencing. There's, it's a lot of hard work. I also do part-time pet sitting and... <laughs> oh, man. Hi, I'm hi. filming. Sorry, I didn't work. It's okay. Oh, hi. What's up, my people? What's up, kiddos? Oh, shut up. Sorry, I had to talk to my damn GMC. So the money that I do spend is, of course, on food, groceries, my rent, my car, anything. My car's old, like that thing needs a lot of work sometimes. And I've gotten into two car accidents lately, which cost me a lot of money. All the traveling that I do, I'm just very, very lucky. So I have a lot of connects. <laughs> For one, I go to places that I know I can afford to go. I don't just like splurge and go to Thailand for the weekend. Like I literally, I will go to New York. Why? Because my friend lives there and I can stay with him. And I literally just pay for my bus ticket and just go there for the weekend and it's fine. And I'm not, I don't feel broke, but I'm still getting out of town. You know what I mean? Spending on something that you actually want to be doing, like traveling. Let's say like a bottle of foundation could cost you up to 20, 25 dollars. Sometimes even 45. Those 45 dollars, if you put that in a jar, that's gonna add up and that could easily be a ticket somewhere and 45 dollars cost me to go to and from new york so there you go everybody's wondering where i'm from so i well of course i was born in chile i came here when i was 11 but i've been living in maryland for what 12 years 12 13 i was living in ellicott city maryland and now i live in baltimore so i'm right in the city i absolutely love it this is exactly what i needed what i wanted Whoo! 
oh so badly. Um, underscore VKJX asked me, how are you feeling about living alone now emotionally? Surprisingly, I feel so zen, so happy, so relaxed. And I was telling my friend this because I feel like I haven't been this happy in years. And that's honestly kind of sad. And I feel like for the longest time, I just needed my own space. And finally it happened and here I am. Just okay, the last question that everybody's been asking me about is whether Nick and I are still together. No, Nick and I are not together. If you went on my following list, do I follow him? No, you should just assume that we're not together. So I think I made a huge mistake by introducing him to you because I'm not gonna lie, people are nosy as fuck. And I understand that I shared my relationship with you guys, not to a crazy extent, like it was only what, two of my videos, or three? We left off on good terms, I still love him very much so, I know he still loves me, I'm still, I'm not, I don't have that door closed because I've loved that man since I can remember, so yeah, um, it's been a couple months, so it's still pretty recent, but been enough time for me to talk about it and not cry. I've come to terms with it because I feel like, especially right now, I just feel like things really, really do happen for a reason. Not in like a crazy mystical way, but more so like things need to happen in order for you to learn, to grow, to, you know, step out of your comfort zone. And I feel like that needed to happen for me to feel the way that I feel now. And I feel really happy now. We, I have no bad vibes. Please don't go on his page and like, do something stupid because that would be really annoying um, I had people message some of his cousins like that's just really really inappropriate and I really hope that this brings you closure even though we were barely like a phenomenon online I'm just kind of doing my own thing trying to focus on myself all of my accomplishments obviously I was able to do a lot and yeah I'm just kind of just very excited to do my own thing right now we weren't loving each other the way that we were supposed to so we broke up and shit happens man like it is what it is I, I really did think I was gonna marry this guy so yeah it was really really sad actually you know breaking up but slowly but surely with time you know everything heals and you're okay but like I said, please stop asking me because nobody wants to be reminded of that. Just think twice about asking that question. That's it for my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I will have a room tour hopefully very soon. Um, I have a few things to get for my room, so give me a couple months. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. It was a long one, but it needed to be long because a lot of things happened. If you're in the same boat with moving and stuff, hopefully this made you more excited about moving because I know I was really overwhelmed when it was happening and hopefully this eases your mind a little bit because everybody goes through this. Of course, also don't forget to check out Poshmark. Link is in my description. Use my code, Javierita. So make sure you check that out in my description. For $10 off, like I really, like, come on now. I know you, I know you want to use it. And that's it for this video, so I hope you're having a wonderful day or wonderful night. Oh, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you in my next one.